My name is Davin Sturdivant, and in this video, we'll be looking at the test properties of a session in Race Studio. So I race competition cards, and I'm also a writer for Cart Pulse, which is designed to gather information about the sport of karting and put it into an easy to find place. So when I got in touch with Roger Cadell, who's the national trainer for AIMSport, we decided to put together some videos about how to use karting data in Race Studio. We've broken them up into these little mini vignettes, hopefully to make it easy to consume. But if you have questions about whatever we cover, just leave a comment below and we'll put it in another video. So I'm going to turn it over to Roger and take it from there. Okay, so Roger, sometimes when I'm done with a race and I'm going through my data, I notice that some of the values are set weird. Like maybe the track is set to the last track I was at, or the name is from another driver because I'm using someone else's micron, or something else like that. How do I fix those things so that I can actually have the appropriate information? Yeah, that happens, especially uh, with the Micron 4s and, and, of course, the new Micron 5s. It, um, you, you store those values on board. So uh, if, if you were to finish up or go to a new track or go from a heat race to, a, to the final or things like that, uh, the, the old default values stay. So you can um, easily change that stuff after you've downloaded the data. So after you've either downloaded it off the data key with your Micron 4 or the, the, you know, the Micron 5 with the Wi-Fi, you can... You end up here at the at the test database and lap manager when you first open up Race Studio, and you can see here on the on the, on the example that I have up here, uh, I've just simply misspelled the test name, you know, Mark PGP Heat Race, and I and I misspelled the word race. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a very simple tool that you can come into in inside of Race Studio to 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 fix all of those kind of you know small little problems to help you with the tech you know, the selection criteria and some of the different filtering functions we have. So the, uh, the all, you, all you have to do is just highlight the, the test like I've done here, make it make it blue highlighted. And then down here in the middle of the bottom, there is a test properties button. And as soon as you click on that, what you'll see is the dialog box comes up, which has all of the changes, all of the, the, the different values that you can change, right? And it's it, 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 it is as simple as just coming up, clicking in the box, and, and retyping in, in the name. Uh, you can change the name totally. You can put anything you want here after the download. The, the, the Windows file naming you know, stuff is, is, stays the same as it was when you downloaded, but this is the name that you can, you can change so you can uh, remember exactly what it was. So you can come in and later and say, okay, this was a heat race, or this was the heat race where I got that flat tire, or heat race when, you know, whatever it happens to be, which makes it a little easier to find things sometimes. So, and then, and then if you need to, you can uh, also come down to any of the different data boxes, and you can simply click on it and pull, you know, from a from a value you already had in your database, and and rechange them. That makes sense. I mean, I like to use the test comments field, especially if I've made. Uh, a set of change that I have written in my logbook somewhere, but maybe there's something particular that I want to make sure I remember, like that gear of change I did that was mega, or um, you know we made some alignment change, or I'm running a different set of wheels or something like that. That I just want to make sure I don't forget. That sometimes gets lost in my scratch notes. So exactly. um, that feels really helpful sometimes to just put in, you know, this setup didn't work, <laughs> or this yeah. setup was really good, right? So and and that uh, and the test comments box, which is down here, you can plug in. Uh, as, as much or anything that you want it, it does not come in nothing comes across from the micron when you download it but you can come in here and type in that uh you you had an 86 tooth rear rear gear or and and, and it uh you know ran ran well or, or or whatever it happens to be that you want to plug in there you can do that so the records are, are just critical in 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 data when you when you go back later on you can now sort every time you were at pgp in this in this instance and uh, with the driver of Mark in the aim cart and, and all these different things, but you could say, I only want to see my qualifying sessions of, of that track and, and that driver and that cart, and it'll filter down to just seeing those. So you can find all of your qualifying sessions really quickly, take a look at what gears you ran, see what the lap times were, compare those to you know last month's qualifying efforts versus this qualifying efforts, and, uh, and be able to really, really study the data very quickly. So, so plugging in this correct information at the test information settings dialog box and, and these test properties is, is very, very important to, um, to being able to go back and find you know, old data and make sure that you've got your setup correct. So it's very handy. One last thing I would want to show you, though, is uh, let's say that um, you don't have, you know, a uh, um, a 
a championship or a driver or a vehicle is not in, in, in your choices here. So what you can do is come into the add modified box, you know, compare, you know uh, alongside of that particular item. And all you have to do is click on the add modify box. You can come in and you can plug in a, a new, you know, 2000, you know, you know, Pacific Northwest, you know, cart championship, right? You can plug in whatever you wish to have in there. Pacific Northwest PN. Make sure you type it right. You can change it later if you want to by modifying the database. Mm -hmm. But once you've typed in kind of what you want to, to uh, uh, another way of sorting data, a championship, you know, um, a season, uh, you know, certain tracks, whatever it is, you add that value to the database. It now is in your pull down list. Yeah. So if we click on OK, it adds it. If I uh, still want to go back to where we were a little bit ago with either SEMA or you're just 2016 or w any other choices you've made in the past, you can go ahead and select those as well. So, so we're gonna you know leave that at uh, at, at none for now. But y y even if you don't have one in there, you can easily change it and uh, add a new one, modify it, delete them, delete an entire uh, you know um, championship as well. So very very handy box. And as soon as we click on OK. You know, now all of the changes that we just made, it's now spelled correctly. The it shows that we ran a, an 86 gear and that we uh, that it ran well in that particular um, in that particular conditions with that that gear ratio. So, the test properties uh, you know dialog box allows you to go in and change everything you need to change if it didn't if it didn't come down directly from your Micron uh, right off the bat. So, a very handy tool. That's the end of this AIM Learn Fast video. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you want us to cover another topic. Visit aimsports.com if you want to learn more about Micron products.